Welcome to Clement's Family Farm. This is going to be part two of the uh, roof ceiling and semi restoration of this RV. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about products I'm using. I typically don't do that, but uh, today it's a little windy. Uh, I've been having troubles with the weather. It's been beautiful out, but it's been too windy. We'll go inside and I'll sit up at the house or in my office there and we'll talk about the products. All right, we're inside now, out of the wind, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and if you like the video, hit like, and if you're interested in the upcoming videos, make sure you hit the, um, the bell icon, that way you get the notifications on the upcoming videos. I really do appreciate all of you watching these videos. Uh, it does help me out, um, because I'm trying to make a living just like everybody else, and it shows YouTube that my content is good. Alright, in this video I am going to talk a little bit about these products and then we'll go into a time lapse of me putting on the first coat. Uh, a lot of you guys have questioned uh, what type of materials I'm using and what I'm using to prep and everything. I'm going to reiterate that I'm going to be real with you on all this stuff because not everything is how people perceive it. Uh, I watch a lot of views. I always update myself every time I get a new project. Uh, just so I stay current on products and uh, techniques. I'm always trying to improve. Because uh, the more I improve, the faster it helps me do the job. So anyway, uh, I'll show you a little time lapse of me putting on the first coat of sealant. Uh, that's been over a course of probably four or five days. Uh, the weather really played a part of it. Uh, it's been really nice, but the wind has been horrific up here. Uh, 30, 40 mile an hour winds. Um, plus, I can't start first thing in the morning because there's so much moisture in the air. And I need to have all that moisture gone before I start. My main product is acetone. That's what I wipe everything down with. Uh, you'll see me doing that in the video. I'm constantly wiping it down. Uh, I put them in these bottles. Uh, these are just food grade, not food grade, chemical grade uh, bottles. You can buy them on Amazon. Uh, I'll probably leave a link everything that I'm using down below in the description. But yeah, these bottles here are great. You put the acetone in there. You can actually put the isopropyl alcohol in there too. Uh, you squirt them on. And the lid and the small opening helps keep this from evaporating out of the bottle. I put the acetone on. I use terry cloth to wipe everything down uh, with the acetone. Uh, I also use anywhere between 70 to 91% isopropyl alcohol. Uh, this is a great water displacement. Uh, it's a great cleaner too. Uh, I buy bottles of this when I go to the pharmacy, Walmart, whatever store you guys have. I look for it on sale and... I think it's like three dollars. Uh, you can get them on sale for like a dollar fifty a bottle for 32 ounces. This is 32 ounces. So I buy four or five of these bottles when I see them on sale and I keep them around here, put them in a spray bottle and this stuff works great. So if you got water, the acetone will do the same thing but I think the alcohol does better for water displacement. Uh, if you've got a little crack or crevice that has water in it, Use this alcohol, spray it in that crack or crevice. It will displace the water out, dry it up with a towel, and give it about 10 minutes and the alcohol is evaporated and gone. Um, so then you've got a dry surface to work with. Uh, I do carry a can of air, for the air that you use for uh, your computers is dusting off. Uh, that works too. Between the can of air, some towels, and the alcohol, you'll get all the surfaces dry. To do this project the painters tape I'll cut to a video right now and show you me applying the painters tape so all I'm doing is coming down just a little bit from the edge and this is really important because the sealant's gonna run it's gonna run down so I'm just applying the tape along the edge and then I'm not pressing the tape all the way down and making it flush what I'm doing is I'm leaving it up just a little bit once I get it laid out and cut off I'll fold it up under and adhere it back to itself and not to the RV. This creates a little bit of a V-shape or a dam. 
Um, then I'll come back. This works good, but it's not foolproof because uh, the wind does blow it down and the sun will make it a little loose. So what I'll do is I'll come back with another piece of tape and put it up underneath and that will hold that shape of the dam until you're done with the project. So I use two pieces of tape for each area. And you can see that here in this video. The liquid sealant that I'm using, it's a liquid rubber. Uh, I did a lot of research on this between all the different companies out there. And the, the product I've been using this last year is the Gorilla Glue Wet Patch. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. This is just stuff that has been working. Uh, it's been working for everything that I've been doing. Uh, there are other products out there like Flex Seal. There's some Mastic. There's some Henry's. Uh, they've all got kind of their own. I am going to test some Henry's. They have this Eco Mass. Um, it's supposed to be similar. It's made for RVs and stuff. It is cheaper. But sometimes when you get cheaper, you get what you paid for. Um, but they have Flex Seal. Flex Seal and the Gorilla Glue is very similar. But everything I've read, all the reviews and everything, the comparisons between the two, they were both very, very similar. Um, the only thing different with the Gorilla Glue... Um, wet patch was the adhesion properties of it were greater for some reason the adhesion to this to all surfaces was greater that was the common uh responses that i saw or read in the reviews so there was people doing testing i didn't need to do the testing and I started using it and I have to agree. The I have used Flex Seal in the past for other projects and I gotta agree. The uh, Gorilla Glue has great adhesion because when it goes down, you're not getting it back up. Uh, it sticks and it sticks good. Um, I hope I never see any of my clients back for a roof repair. Because all the ones I've used this on, I don't want to have to go back and fix uh, any of those. Because, oh yeah, it sticks. It sticks hard. And trying to get it off is, would be a, a freaking nightmare. So uh, that's a good, good thing about this um, wet patch. Uh, it does go down, it does stick, and it's been working. When you're talking about liquid rubber, um, it is thick, but it's also self-leveling. What that means is you put it on, uh, you roll it. So I use these quarter inch nap rollers. Uh, you, there are more dense rollers, but you just kind of push it around like a squeegee and you don't get it all uh, pushed out evenly. The other thing is, is if you go with the bigger roller, sometimes you start lifting uh, the sealant up where you really want to put sealant down. Uh, so I found these quarter inch nap rollers that is the perfect size, the density, and it, it works really well. So anyway, that's the quarter inch roller. Uh, I have an extension. If, if you like to stand up on your RVs and uh, do it standing up, it's a good way of doing it. I particularly don't like heights, so me being up on the tops of these things is really pushing my limits uh, and my anxiety. But I do what I gotta do to get the job done and I push through it. But anyway, you could put a longer handle on it. I have a short one. I stand up sometimes, uh, depending on how I feel. But this with this liquid rubber, it's self-leveling. So that what that means, it's gonna seek all the low spots. So if your roof is crowned, uh, like most of them are, it's going to start running and running over the edges. Uh, I've learned in the past that you can really mess up a job um, if you don't tape right. That's the whole reason for the, the paint troughs I put on the edges. And then 
making sure that you spread out evenly with your roller. Uh, I cut in everything with the paintbrush first because then I can control it and then I'm only doing certain areas. And then I come back with the roller, which puts it on a little thinner. That's why I'm doing two coats on this. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm covered, covered, covered on this. Uh, I used to use the paint trays, but this stuff is so thick and you're just kind of pushing that paint tray around. I just figured out that if you just pour this right from the can onto the RV roof and just make little um, streams or little patches and then work out from there with your roller. I'm not going to lie. It's a pain in the butt. Uh, the reality of it is you're going to you're gonna have to spend some time rolling it. Like I said, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to show you all the good and the bad and the ugly. Part of the problem with this stuff is it takes two or three hours before it starts tacking up to where if something lands on it, uh, it might stick but won't get hung up in it. It might just stick a little bit uh, to where... It, it can't fly off, but it won't get wrapped up in the material. So that takes three or four hours. So you're going to get bugs in this um, because it's shiny, it's white, and they're attracted to it. Yeah, there's nothing that you could do about it. But the end result will be a sealed roof, and it will look halfway decent when you're done. Uh, minus a few bugs in it. Uh, the one thing, like I said, it's self-leveling, and will seek all those lower areas. So if you've got big holes or rips and anything, this is not your uh, product. But for those big holes, I had a, a few spots on here on this trailer where I had to fill those holes. The one thing I use is this DAP. Uh, it's a fast dry. It's painter's choice or painter's pro paint project. Uh, it's a caulking. It's a fast dry latex caulking. Uh, it dries in 20 minutes. Uh, I usually give it 30, 40 minutes. We're not trying to seal with this. It is a sealer and will seal. It's made for windows, baseboards, all this, all your home, interior, exterior. But we're not using it for sealing. We're not even cons concerned with that. What we want to do is we want to fill those gaps. And this is a great way of doing that. Um, you squirt a little bit in there. You fill that gap because it's thick. Rub your finger over it, make it flush with the roof or your trim that you're doing uh, along the edges. I, I did that on all the corners uh, with this because there was huge gaps. They had put silicone and there was water and dirt behind that silicone. Like I said, we're not going to seal with this. We're just filling in the gaps and then we're using this as a sealer because this is going to be the thing that adheres to everything. All right, let's just cut to the video of me installing the first coat. I printed my card, I know what it costs. Yeah, I put in the work that you don't. Day after day, I work and I play. Yeah, I'll do all the things that you won't. Even when my feet get tired, I will keep on moving higher. I'm the story you don't speak of. I'm the one they call the underdog. Cause every time the push comes to shove, I'm climbing over you to reach the top. Cause I want everything and nothing at all. Yeah, I want everything and nothing at all Cause I want everything and nothing, 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 nothing at all Don't care what you think or what you believe Cause I'm gonna turn the world upside down If you want a shot, just step in the ring Yeah, I'ma shake your bones like thunder
Cause I want everything and nothing at all Yeah, I want everything and nothing at all Cause I want everything and nothing, nothing, nothing Nothing at all I don't want nothing at all Unless I can have it all I don't want nothing, nothing at all. I don't want nothing at all. Unless I can have it all. All right, so today is the next day. Uh, just finished up the time lapse of me applying everything yesterday. And today, right now, is the first time going up and uh, looking to see what the results are um, after finishing it up. Not sure what I'm going to expect. Uh, I'm not expecting the best because I knew there was um, bugs and stuff in it. But let's go check it out and see what we got. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're looking at it for the first time um, since I put it on. I know I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. I just didn't know how it would look today. There's bugs in it. Uh, I know how to solve the bug problem or make it look halfway decent. But uh, I wanted to see this whole thing after I, it took me so long to do it after the last couple days. Uh, I do know it's a first coat, so things don't always look great on the first coat. Um, so I was kind of half expecting that, but uh, I wasn't expecting these these little runs um, that are coming down. Don't know if that was from the roller or from it, it kind of looks like water ran down it. So I don't know if it got moisture. That's the bad thing about this stuff. It does take a couple hours for it to set up and uh, get tacky. So I don't know if that's water. I, it's not a big deal. It's still it's still sealing and everything. Um, and I do know there's a second coat going over the top of this. I may even do a third coat. Uh, it's still a little tacky, but this stuff's really weird because uh, it feels tacky even when it's completely cured. And as soon as you get it wet and wipe it down, because you can't wipe it down with a regular rag, because it just, I mean, it's its stick. It's really tacky, sticky, sticky. I mean, it's not coming off or anything, but it's even like that when it's cured for a week. Uh, it feels tacky. Uh, that's the good thing about this stuff. That's, the, that's a pro. Uh, the bad thing about it is it also collects dust and dirt. Uh, it, but it wipes right off. So I'm looking at it. Uh, I, I need to fill a couple gaps here. Uh, there's one here I'm not real happy with. Uh, the old stuff that's been here for three or four days more, uh, it looks better than the stuff I applied yesterday, but it's still got to cure and do everything. Uh, I don't know. Let me see if I can climb this ladder. Uh, so I gotta get a little higher. So like I said, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, there are bugs in it. There is some dust on it, but that's the stuff that's already cured. I don't know if you could see it, but uh, the stuff I applied yesterday or I finished off yesterday was uh, it's a little whiter. Um, the areas that I did. So I don't know if that is the batch of stuff that I got is different 
from the stuff I bought in the store. Uh, I, I, I just don't know. But it won't matter because when I do the final coat on this, uh, it'll be all one run. Uh, this, because I'll make sure that that day that I do that, that I have the time and everything, that I, I finish everything all in one swoop. So there's no different, um, I mean, it could be a difference in the cans too. Okay, I'm happy so far. Um, every, I don't see any major disasters. Um, you can see how the sealant's all around that. And as we look down the RV, everything is good and coated. Um, that's the, the major thing. But this roof is different. If you look at how, you can see all the ribs. The ribs go this way and this way. And th the material actually dried differently where all those ribs are. Uh, it's a little crazy. There's a back. There's two backbone ribs right here. Now that I can, I can see the backbone ribs, and then I can see the cross ribs going this way. I'm hoping you can see that in the video. So yeah, I'm hoping you can see that in the video. Um, and there's nothing I could do about that. That's that's just the way everything is reacting. Uh, I don't know if it would do that with any other product. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's crazy. I just wanted to keep it real with you and show you exactly what I'm seeing for the first time after putting the sealant on. Uh, personally, I don't, I don't like seeing all that stuff, but there's nothing I could do about it other than doing this in a big shop. When I'm finished with it, it won't look like that because after, I'm gonna to have to scrub this one more time before I put the second coat on. That'll get rid of most of the, probably 98% of the bugs. There's some big bugs in here that I won't be able to get all out, but scrubbing it will get all those bugs out. I'll put on another layer to make sure that those bugs did leave a hole or something, that we get it sealed up, go from there. We'll put the second coat on. I'm going to let this cure today, possibly tomorrow. So in the next couple of days, I'll get back on this and we'll scrub it and get the second coat on or the final uh, reveal. And we'll see what it looks like uh, real life. We'll see you in a couple of days for part three.